Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dawn and thanks for coming back to living the Newcomb life. Today, we have been canning all day. You're going to see it in several different videos of different things that we've canned. But right now, we are going to can cauliflower and carrots together. We're going to pickle them and we're going to can them. So, um, you're going to come along with us on the ride. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to blanch the cauliflower and the carrots for one minute. They do not want us to blanch it for any longer than one minute. So I'm gonna pour it in. We've got water started here um, on our stove. I'm probably gonna make a huge mess, but we're gonna get all of our cauliflower in the pot. And then we're gonna toss our carrots in there as well. Give it a little stir. We're gonna set our timer. So also, today is the 4th of July, so you're going to hear a lot of fireworks because it's starting to get dark outside and the kids are having a blast. So happy 4th of July, even though you'll be seeing this a couple days later. So one minute to blanch our vegetables. And while that is blanching, we're going to start to get the rest of our brine together so that um, we can put this in jars. Um, I have the jars currently in this pot getting sterilized, so we're kind of doing things all at the same time. So the jars are being sterilized here, we're blanching our vegetables here, and then in a moment we are going to make our brine. So we have one second. We are ready. That is all that we need to, to cook these vegetables um, because they will cook in the, uh, in the brine and then when we, when we put them in the canner or the, the water bath. We're going to get the rest of these out of here. We're just going to let them sit in the strainer on the sink while we go ahead and make our brine. So back over here. So we are going to add into our pot here and granted, we've made several brines today in this pot, so <laughs> we're going to go ahead and open our apple cider vinegar. We need three cups of apple cider vinegar. So we're going to add our turmeric. So we're adding in two teaspoons of turmeric. We got that. We're adding in three cloves, or I'm sorry, six cloves of garlic. We are doubling this recipe, so um, we need six cloves of garlic smashed. Now, um, two of the cloves that I have here are really small, so we actually have seven. Um, but to smash the garlic, you just lay it on your cutting mat or cutting board and put your knife on top and you just hit it and it smashes the garlic and that helps the flavor of the garlic to kind of go throughout the whole brine. So we're going to do it again. You can see it's there. Just be very careful not to hit that blade of the knife when you're doing that. Okay, so that's in our brine. We are now going to add um, uh, two teaspoons of pickling salt. You can get pickling salt usually at your grocery store. Sometimes, or sometimes like we um, pick up most of our pickling stuff from a local hardware store. 
and they have a whole canning section and you can get the pickling salt there as well um, so we are also going to so the recipe calls for sugar I do not typically eat sugar I and doing low carb so I'm going to make this low carb it's great for diabetics or someone who is watching their sugar I am using stevia so I'm using stevia measure so I'm using exactly the same amount of sugar that you would use and I'm using two-thirds of a cup because I am doubling this recipe the recipe calls for one-third of a cup so I'm going to add this to my brine and then we're going to turn this on and we're going to let everything melt together the jars are all sterilized we are ready to fill the jar so we're going to put all of our vegetables in the jar all right it's beautiful all right so now what we want to do is add our brine. If y'all could smell how good this smells. Mm, boy, it smells wonderful. Pretty close. Okay. Now we need to use, we have our trusty little chopstick here. And this is a plastic chopstick. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go down in our jar and kind of just go down the side of the jar and make sure that all of our bubbles are out. And you'll find that um, the jar will settle a little bit. The, the vegetables will kind of um, find their little spot within the jar so that they're packed nice and tight. And... Um, as you can see, this one looks beautiful. We're gonna put a lid on here and a ring. We're gonna finger tighten these down. You don't need to crank on them or anything like that. Just finger tighten them down. All right, so we are all set. We're going to put these in our water bath and let them go for 10 minutes. So our timer is going off. We can go ahead and shut off the heat to our canner. And we are actually going to, we're gonna let them sit in the water for five minutes and then pull them out. Okay, so our timer has gone off. Our five minutes resting in the hot water is over. We're gonna go ahead and take the top off the pot, remove the uh, jars from, I'm gonna move this over here. Remove the jars from the canner and let them cool. So these lids look like they expanded up for some reason. I'm not sure actually. If you can and have any idea why my jars would have done this or why the lids would have done this, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I have a feeling that these two jars look like they may have to go in the refrigerator. So it does not look like they're gonna seal. It may surprise me, but it does not look like they're going to seal. So I'm not sure exactly what happened. So we're gonna give it some time, let them cool, see if they actually do seal. Um, and we'll go from there. So I've never had that happen before, so. What's up guys, it's been 34 days. It says that before you could eat them that you have to wait about two weeks. 
So we're well outside of that, and I think it's time to do a taste test. Did someone say taste test? It looks so good. All right, you get first try. <laughs> I'm out of practice, apparently. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Wow, that's really good. And I just tried the cauliflower. I'm gonna get some carrots. Yeah. garlic so mm. Mm. the carrots are nice and still crisp it's good the turmeric in there gives it a nice round flavor mm -hmm. the the vinegar is strong in this. More strong than like the peppers. Yeah, I think you're right. But it's it's good. It's, it's good, good, yeah. It's not so overpowering that you can't taste anything else in it. It's real smooth, pretty light. Mm -hmm. Oops. I mean, I could see you and I could probably eat that whole jar in mm -hmm. one sitting. <laughs> mm. That's really good. I like that the cauliflower keeps its... Um, it doesn't get real super mushy. It mm -hmm. it still keeps its consistency kind of. I mean, like, I mean, it's soft, but it's not squishy. No, oh, yeah. It's still kind of firm, which is that's really, really good. good. Yeah, that's awesome. What do you like better, the oh, carrots? Sorry, I ate all the carrots. <laughs> um, I kind of do like the carrots, so. I kind of figured that out because I didn't get one. <laughs> Yeah, they're still really crunchy. Yeah, but good. Like, mm -hmm. the flavor is really good. And wow. the onions are good, too. There's not nearly as many onions in there as cauliflower and carrots. They're kind of in there just to give it flavor, but that's really good. You want to try an onion? I did have an onion. Oh. Does anything taste better than, than the other to you? Mm-mm. I think it would all be good together. Mm. Really, really good. Yeah, wow. just a nice refreshing snack. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate all your, your support. Um, don't forget to hit the like button, and we'd love to have you along for the journey, so hit the subscribe button. And if you would share our videos on all your social networks, that would be awesome. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.